to you for a second? Why? You think I stole that money, don't you? Yeah, you do. No. Look, I've stolen money before, okay? I know what it's like to get busted. That's what it feels like. Okay. I didn't steal it. I got a job. Okay? All this right. is my job. All right? I got it. I make money. Okay, I got it. Money I can take girls out on dates with. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> Good to know. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Come away. Go away. Go away. That's a weird name. Hey, how are you? Good, Robin. How are you? Good. I felt like I was voyeuristically watching you and Michelle Williams on the screen because it was so real. Yeah. T tell me how you lived as your characters before you started shooting. Well, you know, it, it ended up, well, the filmmaker worked on it for, for 12 years. He wrote 75 drafts. And uh, Michelle was on board for six years, and I was on for four. So we had a lot of time to work on our characters. I understand that you lived in the same house for a while and, and acted as a married couple. Yeah, we took a, we shot the f film takes place in two different time periods. One where the couple is meeting and falling in love, and the other is where their kind of uh, love is uh, sort of falling apart. It's six years later and they have a kid. So we took a month off in between those two time periods and uh, uh, Michelle and I lived in the house that we were, uh, um, that our characters lived in. And uh, we had Christmas and birthdays and uh, we, uh, we, we had a budget and we went grocery shopping and uh, we knew how much she made and how much I made and what compromises we had to make uh, you know financially in order for me to have cigarettes and her to have whatever she needed and we just kind of tried to recreate as much as we could uh, uh, you know this 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 life to build memories so when it came time to shooting we could we could draw on those how did you celebrate Christmas we put up a tree and we wrapped we bought presents wrapped them we had a whole fake Christmas that's great yeah that's it was nice because you didn't have to see any of your annoying family members so I guess Christmas is not a big deal for you. It's a big, yeah, it's a big deal. It's a, big, it's, it's a huge deal. But this was great because it was just fast. It was like Christmas in a day, you know? Yeah. Um, there is a, a really gorgeous scene where you're actually falling in love and you're on the Brooklyn Bridge, and I heard that you spontaneously climbed over the bridge. Right. What possessed you to do that? I don't know. I don't know why I did that. That was dumb. I wouldn't encourage it. Uh, the director is uh, crazy, and he had this, he has this way of directing, which brings things out of you that you're not expecting. He'll say to Michelle, I don't care what Ryan does, he's going to ask you what your secret is, and you're not going to tell him, no matter what he does. And then he says to me, privately, I don't care what you have to do, you're going to get her to tell you your secret. I don't care what you have to do. So, action. Hours go by. I'm asking, what's the secret? What's the secret? She won't tell me until eventually the sun's going down. And I have to get it out of her, and I find myself... It wasn't until I found myself on the other side of the bridge that I climbed over and I was staring down at the water that I realized that I'd been brainwashed and that Michelle Williams was trying to kill me. Have you ever actually walked over the Brooklyn Bridge before? Have I w walked over it? Yeah. I don't know. I guess I don't think I have. That's why, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, it was a bizarre, this whole movie is an experience of, of that. I don't really remember making it, and we got so immersed in the roles, and it took so long to make it that it, 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 it just felt like other, other, we were living, a, a real, really living other people's lives. So whatever next project you have will like pale in comparison to this experience, I'm sure. I went and did a comedy. Steve Carell after this because I, I I left it all in the field on this one and I didn't I didn't know I wasn't I couldn't try and do it again what was that called the comedy it's called crazy stupid love great thanks you're never gonna guess who I saw at the liquor mart Richard Rico <laughs> no but good guess John Bon Jovi 
Bobby Ontario. What the fuck was he doing there? I don't know. I mean, buying liquor, I guess. Jesus. How come you're just telling me now? I'm because I'm telling you now. How come you didn't tell me when we were, when we were there? I don't know, because I was flustered, and I'm telling you now. You talked then? No, I mean, like, hi, bye, how are you? Fine, good, how are you? How are you? Yeah, he asked me how I was. And you told him? I, I mean, I didn't want to, but we were just, we were stuck there. We were in the same store, buying things together at the same time. I wish you'd seen him. I wish you'd, you, you wouldn't feel so bad. He's fat. Why care? I don't know. I don't care if he's fat or not. 